Hi guys and uh, welcome to the new Creecraft Terrain Showcase. In today's video I'm going to show you our third uh, Necron Pyramid we did for Warhammer 40k, so sit back and enjoy. The pyramid is composed out of three main parts. The bottom part with stairs, the middle part and top part with crystal pillar. Each section has spots with inlets. The inlets are made out of different material which has glossy texture. Our previous Necron Pyramid had more of an ancient look and lots of battle damage cracks and broken obelisks. However, the client wanted something different with this one. So instead of a classic ancient type, the client wanted something modern, a sci-fi building with weaponized look. Bigger obelisks are very different when compared to our previous designs. The intention was to make them appear like power generators, which fuel the crystal on top of the pyramid. Smaller obelisks are basic in their design in order to contrast the tiny details which can be spotted all around the pyramid. Before priming the pyramid was coated twice, which blended all parts together. After coating, the pyramid was primed in black, which was mixed with a couple of drops of blue and purple. When the first layer of priming dried out, the second priming in black was applied. Later, the pyramid was dry brushed in light grey to achieve marble look. We didn't want to color the inlets as we usually do on our Necron projects, mainly because we wanted to achieve mysterious and dark aesthetics, but we also didn't want to make the pyramid look bland and uninteresting. So, green color can be found on obelisk tops, the crystal and, of course, on the middle floor of the pyramid. Big Necron decal on top of the first pyramid section is also colored in green, however, it has a bit darker shade. With such subtle tones we achieved classic Necron look, but with somewhat different approach. Necron portals on the sides are made out of clear resin. The layer behind the resin is painted cardboard. Bottom portals do not have miniatures because this is the spot where the user should hold the pyramid when carrying it, so we wanted to avoid any unnecessary damage. Thank you guys for watching the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel and see you next time, bye bye.